Let's also note that the number of addressing inputs or selector signals correlates with the number of uh, inputs uh, by simply using 2 raised to the kth power where k is the number of addressing inputs. So clearly there is this dependency and obviously as the number of inputs increases uh, so increases the number of selectors. Our next device uh, to uh, study is a D multiplexer, which is sort of like a reverse function of a multiplexer. This example demonstrates a 1 to 2 line demultiplexer, and the way it works is again that we have a single uh, address selector, which can of course be, be 0 or 1, and in case if it's a 0, a single input is going to be forwarded to a specific output and obviously this output will be right here. So this input 1 or 0 will be directed to output 0 which also will assume 1 or 0 uh, corresponding to this way. And when uh, the signal is, a, uh, is set to 1, this will, will make a selection of the input and directed to output one. So we have, in this case, we have a device, a closed box device right here, right? So we can sort of like emphasize its internal structure and indicate that it has two inputs, an address or selector right here, and the input, but it has two outputs, output one and output zero. So the address controls uh, to which of these outputs the input signal will be directed. Another uh, circuit that we'd like to uh, go over is demultiplexer circuit that can be transformed into a decoder. Decoder determines type of the input bit pattern and then essentially indicates which one of the patterns is currently active. So basically, um, to demonstrate this function, uh, we can have uh, two inputs A and B, which of course could be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. And these combinations uh, will be indicating that, for instance, if the input is 0, 0, this output will be set to 1 and the rest of them will be 0, 0 and 0. Uh, when this input uh, changes to, for example, 0, 1, then this specific wire will, will have output 1 and the rest of the outputs will be a 0. So this type of device uh, is called a decoder because what it does, it takes uh, certain input pattern and uses end gates and you can observe there are inversion bubbles in this circuitry as well and so it decodes the signal by indicating which one of them that is for instance if both are one one then the decoder will say that this is this specific kind of input pattern one one and only this wire will be set to one whereas the rest of them will be set to zero. An example of a bit pattern would be an opcode, operation code, that specifies the type of CPU instruction. So each uh, CPU instruction has, has to be loaded from memory into the CPU, and the first uh, uh, operation that needs to take place, the operation code, which uniquely identifies that instruction, has to be decoded and so that decoder is very important part of uh, in and the last thing to note is that if the input of of addressing inputs uh, right here uh, is equal to k then the number of output lines becomes 2 raised to the kth power so the same correlation as we observed in other circuitry